G'day everyone, welcome back to Tom's Rook Farm. Today is the last day of harvest. We have got, I think it's about 120 hectares left to go. So there's only uh, 60 hectares per machine. So, you know, roughly about five to six hours of work. And um, yeah, then we're done. But uh, we are in a, a long haul paddock, so the chasers are gonna be a bit stretched, but our yield has also dropped as we've got out here. Uh, which we knew was going to because this is a F block and F block is always uh, always just a little bit disappointing, but that's all right. So uh, yeah, last day of harvest. So they've finished the main part of F. There's just uh, this little triangle here, which <clears throat> we didn't do last night. We uh, got to about quarter to 10 and there's still that to go. So we just left that. Hopefully the moisture will be all good this morning. It was pretty dry when we finished and we've got wind this morning, so that's good. And uh, yeah, now George is gonna fill up the uh, machines, aren't you George? Yeah, yeah. Super excited for the last day of harvest. Yeah. Bloody 19 year olds. <laughs> Henry's uh, off blowing the radiators out of the chasers. The headers are all serviced and ready to roll. George is about to go and rip a sample off. And uh, I'm here, I'm gonna take this guard off of Henry's seed terminator. So this is one we fixed up. So we welded this up and then we welded it back onto there. But there is just so much, there is so much vibration that's happening on these terminators and I don't know why that, um, yeah, this cold guard has just snapped again. So I can't take this bottom one off, this one here, but I can take this one off and uh, it'll be a little bit better. Okay, that's off. That's loose now, but it's a lot better than what it was. It's better than the whole thing breaking and falling off. So we'll deal with that after harvest. George is ripping the sample off. We'll see where we're at. I got Brian on the way back, so I'll probably get the header drivers to go and run the sample for me, just so that it's, um, you know, it's done. And uh, hopefully we can just get straight into harvest because our moisture acceptable level now is 13%. So yeah, that's better. We got Brian back in. So, uh, well, in for his first load for the day. Uh, Annabelle, not that you can see, she's on the other side loading at the same time. And we haven't heard from George yet, but we're assuming the moisture's gonna be good. His uh, machine was saying 11.8. There was no dew this morning, it was windy. So uh, yeah, my guess I'm gonna say maybe more like 12 and a half to 12.6. I'll say 12.6. But as long as it's under 13, we can get rolling. So that's the, uh, that's the plan, get rolling, get done early and uh, then, then we've got to move, I'll, I'll tell you that in a sec. Well, an update, we just got the uh, moisture came in, 12.4%, so as uh, soon as we finish loading Brian, we'll head out, and we just got to check the fire truck over, and then uh, the boys will be rolling. So uh, yeah, the current time is uh, 8.06, so we're gonna get a full day of harvest from nice and early, which is brilliant. Henry's in the fire truck in front. We're just moving it all. We've all finished this piece. So where we're moving to now is uh, on the other side of the trees just there. More of a creek, I should say. Uh, so we're just gonna move the fire truck up to there. So it's uh, in the paddock that we're harvesting. And then it's also uh, past where the chaser drivers go. When it's up here, yeah, it's nowhere near site. So it doesn't make any sense and it's not safe. Uh, but what, uh, talking about not safe, the truck didn't start. They had to jump start it. Uh, so uh, even though it ran for three hours the other day, she's still flat. I've still got the battery on the back of my ute, so we will change that this morning at some point. Um, I've got to sort out the other chaser. Rhiannon's jumping on the other chaser. We've lost Dad. Dad's gone to, had to go to Perth. So um, yeah, he's away. Um, so Rhiannon's jumping on the chaser again, which is good. Um, and uh, yeah. So once I sort all that out, I'll um, yeah go and sort this uh, this battery out because we can't have a fire truck that's not starting. 
one tracer bin driver sorted. Then we wouldn't we wouldn't need the second tracer if the fill bins were closer. But because we're doing such long hauls to the fill bins, we uh, we need that second tracer. The yield is picking up. It's uh yeah you know around that low twos out the back there, so that's good. Uh, but I've got Brian on the way back now. I was going to do that battery so the fire truck I knew was was schmicker and ready to go, but. Brian's on his way back, so I'm going to go and load Brian, and then uh, I'll come back and we'll change that um, change that battery on that truck, just so we know that that's uh, always going to start for us. <clears throat> Brian's rolling in now. We uh, haven't had a chase bin load come in yet. It's just been very slow. They're doing the outside laps of that back piece and things like that. So Annabelle's actually on her way in now. Will she make it in time for the truck? Oh, I don't, probably don't think so with uh, the distance they're gonna travel, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, this will get empty. We'll move on to the PS1. I think we've only got like a boot in that, like the, the cone. And then we'll move on to the other PS's and just uh, keep on outloading grain. And I just remembered, I forgot, I was meant to mention, you know, it's the end of harvest for us, day, last day of harvest for us, but not the last harvesting for us. So uh, what we're doing is we're going to go down and help out uh, my cousin George and Tom. So George does the Glass Cage podcast with me. They've got, uh, I think it's about 1,200 hectares still to go. Uh, this last week has been, um, you know, they've had a pretty like up and downy last week. So, you know, we're finished and we've got two headers that can lend a hand. So we're going to hit set. Send two headers and uh, Annabelle down, and uh, yeah, we'll go and harvest some. I believe we're going to be harvesting some canola and then uh, a bit of wheat. But they've got, got a block, their lease block we're heading to. It's got uh, 800 hectares on, so we'll go down there and we'll uh, harvest that. And then we'll come back here and start coating gear down and uh, start debagging and get all our uh, get all our grain off farm. So Brian now loaded, that uh, organ now moved. We will go out and we will do the, uh, change that battery in that fire truck now, just for my peace of mind. The, uh, the first thing I'm gonna check on the fire truck is uh, to make sure that the battery actually is, you know, flat or, you know, has less charge. The, uh, my one uh, concern could be that this cord, like the actual, uh, the lead at the back is uh, the dodgy part. We've already had to change the um, uh, the battery clamp itself. So I've got a spare one on the back of my ute here. We've already had to change this because uh, it it got loose there without us knowing, and then it had just been arcing. You know, it'd been moving up and down, up and down, and it's welded that lead at the end there. Basically, it's just a big clump. So that is what I'm thinking it might be doing the battery. Let's uh, look, we'll just uh, quickly test this battery and see what it's at and that'll let us know. Nope, it, uh, it actually is flat. It's uh, 11.5 compared to the other one, which is, uh, it's at 14.3, but if you can see that there, that's our solar controller. So that's, um, that's charging the battery. So that's why it's up at 14. So, we will change this battery and uh, yeah, hopefully not have another issue. Right, moment of truth. Uh, this would not have started, definitely if that had been at 11.5, this would not have started before, which uh, is a downright danger, but now 
it'll start and it'll start absolutely no worries. So I'm glad we got that all sorted. I'm uh, more comfortable now. It would have been um, would have been very uh, poor form on my part if uh, we'd had a fire and we had to jump start it. We we got the leads there, but the Ute is you know the the other Ute with the fire units around the corner there. So it would have been a whole shambles. Wouldn't have been good, but we don't need to worry about that anymore. So Brian's loaded, We've, uh, I've moved the auger over into VB3 now, so on his next load when he comes in he'll drain PS4 and VB3, there's nothing in VB4, uh, so that will only do maybe his lead trailer may, and maybe a drop in the A, and then the rest of the grain is uh, in the 100 tonner and Rhiannon's in now filling that up. Uh, it is slow going out the back, um, yeah the yield just isn't there so we're not getting the tons that we normally would with you know the last couple of days that we've been getting but that, yeah that's all right we always finish on our worst paddock we know it's happening but what it what it is good is that uh we've cleared we will clear all this out and then we're just left with a hundred tonner uh and then maybe the 860 we're grinding it just makes it a lot easier for loading brian and then if we're not here moving gear down to uh george and tom's place it's really easy for brian to load so anyway we'll uh Go and have lunch actually, it's, it's lunch time. We've got Brian back in. The guys are now in the last 30 hectares and we're done. So uh, yeah, absolute amazing effort by everybody involved. Uh, Rhiannon's coming in now with her chaser bin and then she needs to go. She has to go to town uh, with uh, one of the kids uh, for gymnastics. So I'll be jumping on the chaser bin. I reckon I'll only probably get one load uh, from out there, but uh, I'll obviously show you guys that. And uh, yeah, we are so close, so close to the end, which uh, we've only been going for just over a month. We started on the 19th of October and it's currently the 22nd of September, uh, of November, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's, um, it's a bloody good effort and yeah, we're glad we're nearly done. Well, we're out here, we've only got uh, well, the guys have only got probably like six header passes to go and they're done. George is up in front, so we'll be unloading him first. I'm definitely only doing one chase bin load. Annabelle will get the rest. And uh, Harvest 2023 is all finished, which is, uh, yeah, fantastic. What a relief. Just debagging to go after this and then sea cleaning at some point. But, uh, yeah, no, good, good that it's finally going to come to an end.
And that is my services required. I'm uh, going to park up the top of the uh, the paddock there and just wait and see. Just wait for Annabelle to get back out, just in case. But uh, yeah, that's uh, me all done. Thank you. No worries. Well, the guys uh, had about 25% on board each, so they just uh, emptied that out into me. And then uh, Annabelle, if you can see, her dust is just here. So they've got uh, an up and a back and maybe like a half run or something. So just, uh, I got that little bit extra just to guarantee that they'd fit it all in Annabelle. And then we're done. The fill bins, the fill bins are just there. And before I've even got back, we have finished harvest. So woohoo! We are all complete, all done. Uh, all we're gonna do now is finish delivering the wheat and then uh, finish those five bags of barley. Got to get uh, half of one of those bags for seed, and uh, yeah, then then we're done. Like it's all all done. All the washing starts, everything like that. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow. Well, today we were going to transport everything down to where we were going, but uh, we're going to do it tomorrow now. We're going to drop the fronts, blow the headers down, wash. Uh, sorry, fuel them with fuel, grease them, get them all ready for tomorrow. And then, uh, yeah, we'll transport down tomorrow morning and, uh, yeah, get that all, all sorted and start the next adventure of, uh, yeah, more harvest. Henry's already dropped his front. George is uh, now about to drop his. We've got Brian's dust just there about to come in and get a load. So uh, we're dropping everything now. We're going to blow the machines down, fuel them up, grease them, get them all ready for tomorrow so that we're uh, ready to roll first thing in the morning. And uh, yeah, that's that's the plan. So thank you everybody for watching. Uh, thank you for sticking with us through uh, the harvest season. We still got more harvest to come. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and uh, we shall catch you guys in the next one.